This video is going to be on stress and dissociative disorders. Now we all deal with stress in our own different ways, however sometimes stressful events can cause psychological symptoms that may need medical management. So that will be the name of the game. Stressful events causing psychological symptoms that may need medical management. Again, we'll talk about stress disorders and dissociative disorders. And we'll talk about stress disorders first. That is when a stressful event causes psycho psychological symptoms. And these psychological symptoms can include things like hyperarousal. So you're always tense, always on edge. And one of the classic cases will be someone coming back from war. So they're constantly tense and they hear a loud noise and they shoot right up. You know, that's hyperarousal. An increased state of tension. Hyperarousal. They might have intrusive thoughts. So these, these flashbacks, these memories keep coming in even when they don't want to, even when they're trying to block them out, they just are very intrusive. They can have numbness. Now you can have numbness and hyperarousal at the same time. Numbness is just a limited affect, limited emotion. So you can talk to someone, again, we'll just use a, the example of a soldier coming back from war. You can talk to the soldier and they'll just really won't respond, really won't show any emotion. But again, if a loud noise goes off in the room, then they'll perk right up. So you can have these two, they're not mutually exclusive. So numbness, limited affect, limited emotion is a big one. And lastly, things like avoidance. Avoiding anything that might trigger a flashback or a memory. And you can understand why they would want to avoid that. So these are all psychological symptoms that can come from a stressful event. But what exactly are stress disorders? Stress disorders are going to be your PTSD, post traumatic stress disorder, acute stress disorder, and adjustment disorder. Now again, I cannot emphasize enough the importance of time frame. Anytime you see a psychiatric question, always know the age of the patient, always know the time frame, how long it's been going on. That is the make or break question. That's the difference between you getting it right and getting it wrong. And I'll show you another example if, if I haven't emphasized it enough. So PTSD is when you have all these symptoms over a month. What do you think acute stress disorder is? It's when you have all these symptoms after a stressful event under a month. Now adjustment disorder is a little bit more difficult to classify. Adjustment disorder has symptoms that are more like depression, yeah, sadness, loss of interest. This is after a stressor and usually resolves within six months. So resolves within six months. Again, these symptoms are more signs of depression, but we'll put it on here because it's after a stressful event. And the classic case is some kid that moved to a different town. That's a stressful event and they're not coping well. So they're having all these signs, all these symptoms, and usually within six months, they'll start to feel better. Okay, so that's adjustment disorder. Basically not coping well after a stressful event, but usually resolves within six months. So time frame very important. Now you treat all three of them with therapy and SSRIs may help elevate the mood. That's your stress disorders. Let's talk about dissociative disorders. Now recall the name of the game in this video is a stressful event causing a psychological symptom. Here in stress disorders, we had a stressor that caused these symptoms. In dissociative disorders, we have a stressor causing different symptoms. Dissociative in the psychological and psychiatric sense means a loss or lapse in consciousness. Hmm. So dissociative disorders is a stressor that causes symptoms like memory loss, loss of identity or perception. And the disorders that fall under this category will be things like dissociative amnesia, dissociative Flag, dissociative identity disorder, and D personality disorder. Dissociative amnesia, judging from the name, stressful event causes amnesia, so loss of memory, 
maybe in Kazuya Lu's um, your identity, so who you are, where you live, what you do. But luckily for us, a lot of times it spontaneously resolves, okay? Commonly, th uh, commonly thought of as a defense mechanism. Dissociative FWEG is when you have that amnesia, you lose a sense of who you are, and you actually travel somewhere else, and you assume a new ide identity. So it would be like if I just went to Oklahoma and assumed a new identity. So I'll say travel plus new identity. And like amnesia, fortunately, they spontaneously resolve, and they'll just pick up and go back home. And in fact, they'll forget all about this episode. Yeah, they won't even register it, so forget about episode. Dissociative identity disorder is formerly known as multiple personality disorders. So this is when there's a stressful event and they make multiple personalities. Thought to be another coping mechanism. Maybe those personalities help them, you know, protect themselves or shield themselves. So all right, multiple personalities. And oftentimes these patients aren't aware of the other personalities. Unfortunately, this has a worse prognosis. A lot of times these patients don't spontaneously resolve on their own. Really need medical management. D personality disorder. What the heck is that? D means kind of down or far or away personality. So this is being away from yourself, your person. Yeah. So these patients feel like, like they're watching themselves. They kind of leave their body for a second. So I'll say, how, how do I want to word it? Feel detached. That's a good way. Feel detached from themselves, that's kind of freaky. It causes them a lot of anxiety. So feel detached from oneself. Oneself, I feel so, so philosophical. Feel detached from oneself. Another thing that's, that looks like it and is not is the realization. So away, that's the D part. Realization or reality. They're away from their environment. So they might feel like the environment is kind of fake. Their environment, the environment might fade away or turn black and white. It's, again, can cause them a lot of stress and anxiety. All right, derealization. That does it for dissociative disorders, stress disorders. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.